Hey guys, I'm on FIFA 17. Um, anyways, I thought it would be a different video. I already uploaded a market video today uh, for you guys. So if you haven't checked that out, it is on the channel. Uh, also, just got to plug the second channel. I've, I've kind of been on and off plugging it like the last few months. I upload a lot of game highlights, put champions highlights, things like that on the second channel. If you guys are interested in watching any gameplay, it's there. Gentlemen, so foot birthday is this week or next week. But I thought something cool to do would be rather than just throwing up a graphic on the screen uh, for you guys of the last year's for birthdays is going through and looking on FIFA 17 as some of the cards, what we had, um, what to expect, and things like that. I thought that would be a pretty cool idea for a video today. I've already uploaded, so I thought this would be a, a pretty cool second channel video. As you can see, I'm a broke boy. Uh, I think I spent at the end of the year all my coins on packs uh, for the live. <laughs> I don't know if it was for the stream or what, but I'm broke as hell. I actually have not logged into FIFA 17 since uh, FIFA 17. I don't know if I have an end game team. I don't even know what's going on here. Let's see. Do I even have a team? Oh, man. Hold on. Whoa. Damn. This is mad. My team. Oh, man. I ha So, I packed this card untradeable. Wow. This takes me back to the days, bro. Look at this. Hullet. I had bought Hullet at the end of the year. Damn, what's his price? 3.2 mil. <laughs> the craziest thing is if you guys go back on old FIFA. Oh my lord. Wow. Okay, anyways. Um, we have to get past this. This team is sick. I know, guys. We're, we're super into that. But let's take a look at some of the foot birthday cards that were on this game. Um, and, and things you guys... And kind of cards that you could expect this year. Because I think a lot of people are always like, Nick, what is going to go on with foot birthday? Um, what could I expect? So... This was a car that was really, really good. A lot of people liked this car. This was a foot birthday Abate. Um, and this guy was very, very in demand. I remember trading with him a lot. That was a pretty solid card. This is we're talking FIFA 17 right now. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna show you guys FIFA 18 as well. This was a huge hit. I think a lot of you guys watching this video today will know what I'm talking about. Um, this was a big hit. Ogbana. This was a huge card, man. People really, really liked this card. Um, this was a foot birthday gut design in FIFA 17, obviously. Um, and FIFA 17, I think they took more of an approach, guys. Uh, on, on bringing out more kinds of players like this, more kind of memory players that people liked rather than position change and favorite players. They was an Agbon the Whore. Uh, I think if I'm not mistaken, I think there was a Darren Bent. There was a Darren Bent. Um, there was, I think, an M and I want to say M and Nike. Where is he? Uh, I don't even know. I think there was an M and Nike. Yeah, he's not on the market. So a lot of these cards are not going to be on the market for the fact that um, this is FIFA 17 and not a lot of people play. But there was also an El Shirari, uh, which was very expensive at the time when he came out. I remember this. Four-star weak foot, five-star skills. Guys, this is the FIFA 17 era. So this is the era before we even could see in-game statistics, which is crazy. That's how old this is. Um, so, yeah, that's that's this era. And then we've got – that was a huge card. Sturridge was another big boy. A lot of people liked this card. Now, he back in the day only had a two-star weak foot. But you guys can see here, somebody played 844 games with this card. Crazy, man. So, this was a really, really popular card. And then there were some other cards that were really popular, uh, like Fernando Torres. That was a really, really popular card. I remember people were crazy about it. People were using mouthwater about this card. He had he had uh, 89 pace, 89 shooting. He's not on the market, uh, but I wanted to tell you guys, that card was huge. I don't know if anybody remembers that one. Uh, and then we go down. We did look down a little bit. David Villa had a really good card. He's also extinct on the market. I could pull these up in concepts, but I think you guys want to see the card designs a bit. So that's why I'm trying to keep them. Uh, I want to look on the menus because I think you guys probably want to see the card designs with these cards. Eto had a card, also not on the market. Um, let me see really quick. Kondreva, I remember I played with this card and really liked it. It's also not on the market. Um, S-Wine had a card. I know Ashley Cole had a card that I really liked. Um, let me see if Ashley Cole is in the game. A lot of these cards are extinct. Uh, let's see if Ashley Cole is on here. Ashley Cole is on the market. Um, 85 pace, 84 defending, 77 physical. Uh, but this was a card that actually did really well. I remember in the summer, like investment-wise... Did really well, man, because people, uh, it was used when all the, there was a lot of end of an errors that came out. Nani had a card as well, and it linked to a lot of them. So I remember that was a huge card. Let me take a look. Does David Luis, is his card on the market? He, this was the biggest card of the promo. So he's not on the market. I will tell you, I'll take you guys the concepts real quick. Wow, the menus are slow in this game. Um, I'll take you guys the concepts real quick so you guys can see what's up with that. Um, but his card, uh, his card was crazy good. This was the best card of the promo. I remember David Luis. Uh, was the highlight of the FIFA 17 promo. This was the card. That was the team of the season. This that this was the birthday card. Um, 80 pace, 89 defending, uh, 86 physical. And then I remember, I think in the same week, it was really weird. He also got like some kind of SBC. 
Uh, it was really weird the whole thing worked. There was a few other players that I wanted to mention from this year. Uh, I think Dumbia is one of them. I don't think I was able to show that. Now, Dumbia um, obviously wasn't the most linkable, but had an insane card. And then I think Nani was a huge one. Nani was, like, very, very popular. He wasn't on the market, but um, four-star weak foot, five-star skills. This card was very, very good. Um, so I wanted to point this one out as well because this was a very good card. SBC-wise, we did not get much FIFA 17 for SBCs. FIFA 17 SBCs, guys, were a little bit different. Uh, they really started to get big in FIFA 19 this year. But in FIFA 18, they were also starting to get a little bit better. They didn't do many SBCs for... Um, they did not do many SBCs, guys, for uh, the for birthday promo. So let me take, let's take you guys over to FIFA 18 now. Let's look at some of the cards that were on FIFA 18. Uh, and let's get it. I wanted to also, before we go on, just to show you guys, this was the birthday team. So these were the cards that we had. Um, I know there's a few minutes going by of me looking up in the market, but these were all the cards we had on FIFA 17. So we even had a Taiwo. Just so you guys could see all of them. Wellington. Um, these were what they all were on FIFA 17. So uh, there were some decent ones. I'd say FIFA 17 was the most overwhelming foot birthday I've seen in two years of seeing foot birthday. Uh, out of the last two years, it was the worst one. So FIFA 18 was a lot better. Let's go show you guys that now. Okay, so now that we move on to FIFA 18, uh, the players in FIFA 18 were a lot better than FIFA 17 for the foot birthday promotion. They were much, uh, they were much, 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 much better. Um, just in general, guys, all the players, hella better. Now, my team is crazy. Um, but let me take a look at these real quick so we can see if the promotion uh, is there. I don't think I actually, I think I packed a few untradeable and I recycled them. I know in FIFA 17, we just looked and there was a promotional team, but I don't think they had that in FIFA 18. Uh, E-team of the tournament, watch. No, see, so they didn't put one in uh, for foot birthday for this year. So we had some crazy cards in FIFA 18, and it makes me feel like that EA is going to go even crazier this year for foot birthday. I, I think they're going even more nuts. Um, so first off, Bale had a left back card, uh, which I will show you guys in concepts. Now, foot birthdays got really rare over the summer. I remember that. Cristiano Ronaldo, there's his birthday. He got a birthday. So they went all out, man, in FIFA 18. Like, the, the amount they stepped up their game, guys, from FIFA 17 was absolutely insane. Um, they really did. Javi Martinez got a card. Hazard also had a card. So the, the cards that actually came out in FIFA 18 uh, were much better than FIFA 17. And that, that's why, for me, I look forward to this year because I feel like this year they're just going to be wild with the way that EA's been bringing out uh, boosted cards and things like that. So we've got... Yannick Velassi is another card um, that was a birthday card uh, that was sick. Like, I remember even though he only had that shooting, the card was unbelievable. And there was, like, even some more budget cards, man. They brought out, I know, a Musa Sissoko that was, like, a pretty budget card, but, like, very usable. Like, it was really, like, affordable, but people could use the card. Like, it was, you could have, you could have, you could use the card. Um, Aspliqueta is another one. Um, Aspliqueta was, was pretty damn good. This card, I know I invested in when it went out of packs and went up like crazy. And you guys could just see already the tier of players compared to FIFA 18 is nuts. Or FIFA 17. It's the kinds of players that they brought out last year are nuts. And, and so the way that EA has been running promos this year um, really tells me that they're going to do, they're going to go all out. With whatever they do this year, it's the 10th year. They're going to bring some pretty crazy icon SPCs. Probably things like that, guys, that just will put it over the The whole promo will be over the moon. Um, then we've got Mars. Um... It was pretty solid. I mean, pretty solid. Not an amazing card. I know that they brought out... This... FIFA, FIFA 18 compared to FIFA 17. FIFA 18 was the year of the position changes. They brought out a Mane center forward. A Mara center forward. They brought out a Kalisinac... I think it was Kalisinac center back? I want to see if he's on the market. Yeah, Kalisinac center back card. Like, they went all out with how they were doing these cards. I know... I think, I think even Alaba got a center mid card. Alaba got a center mid card. It's not on the market, but he did get a center mid card. Jordi Alba had a left wing card, I want to say. I think Jordi Alba had a left wing card, which was nuts. Um, they gave Felipe Anderson a cam card. Um, just some pretty overall nuts cards that they brought out uh, in FIFA 18 compared to FIFA 17's foot birthday. Um, so I, I thought it was interesting to see all that and kind of just look at it and, and talk about the differences. I know that Bale, I want to show you guys Bale's card because this was probably my favorite card that they brought out during birthday. And you actually saw this at some events, people would use this card. He didn't have the best defensive stats, but because of his physical presence and everything that he brought to the table, the card was really damn good. Like, people really, really enjoyed this card. So, this was a crazy card that they had released. Um, and they went all out. And I, I hope, I guess for me this year, that I, I guess the hope that I would want or expect from EA is I, I would pray that they would bring out position change cards with just... Cards that we can use in Foot Champions, because that's the only game mode right now in FIFA, Foot Champions. So give us cards that we can actually use, because nobody's, there's no casual mode in FIFA. 
So they have to, with the way that EA has brought out the game this year, they have to be competitive cards. If they're not competitive cards, um, there's there's no point. You know what I'm saying, guys? So hopefully they do that. This was the beautiful center mid Alaba that I wanted to discuss with you guys. This card was so so cool, um, and that's what I, I thought it was. I thought it was a really cool card to talk about, guys, because this card was very good. And it went up a lot out of packs. So there's going to bring the, this year is going to bring the opportunity, guys, for us to make a lot of coins because there's going to be the opportunity for cards to go out of packs. Position change cards always yield profits over time uh, because they are unique, right? They're unique. Now, these cards were in packs, just so you guys know, for nine days. Nine days they were in packs. Ten days, nine days. Um, last year it was nine days for the birthday. So this year I, I'm assuming it'll be ten days. Um, and yeah, it's a pretty fun promo, guys. So I thought it'd be a cool video just to look back at FIFA 17 and 18 and some of the different cards that were released. Um, and yeah, thank you guys for watching the video. Drop a thumbs up if you guys are excited for full birthday. It should be within the next seven days. I will have you guys covered with every, everything you guys need. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the video soon. Peace.